Digital Electronics DE Project 1.27 Random Number Generator The Dice Roller, 30 project points. We're going to try and create this on multi-SIM. First step is all you need is your laptop, circuit design software that is our multi-SIM. Enter the combinational logic section of the random number generator or dice roller below. Connect three switches for inputs A, B, and C. So you probably need multi-SIM open. First thing I would like you to do is go to window or options, I mean, sheet properties. When you go to workspace, instead of working on a smaller piece of paper, we can work on a bigger piece of paper, like 11 by 17, which is the B size, or C size, 22 by 17. Let's work on the C size, a little bigger workspace, hit OK. Notice how we have a little more paper to work with. This might be a little too big, actually. Uh, let's go to options, sheet properties, workspace. Let's go to size B, hit OK. That's good. Center it off. I think you click on this or that. Yep. Uh, let's file, save as this immediately into your DE files where you hopefully have all these other activities saved. This is 1.2.7. Your name, Dice Roller. So. Right now, we are on the activity, part of the activity that is right here. Three switches, a VCC, a ground, some logic gates, which are labeled right here. Hopefully, you have a pen and pencil, you can mark them off. So, let's start out with basic. We need a power source, I think. A VCC 5 volt. Let's start in the bottom part. Go right there, and we need a digital ground. Not the band, but a digital ground. Okay, and hopefully here you can find switches. I don't know if it'll be here. Oh, basic switch, SPDT, all right. Okay, we're going to need three of these. You can zoom in. If you need, use the plus sign over here. We're going to need three of these guys. Oops. Basic switch. Okay, we're going to need three of these. One. Okay. Two. Okay. Three. Close. I'm going to put my ground a little too. Oops. Have to move the ground a little lower. Might have to move everything up a little like that. All right, highlight these three switches, right click, flip horizontally, and then if you want it to look like the picture, you could flip vertically as well. Flip vertically. Okay. So the bottom parts of the switches get wired to ground. And then the top parts of the switches get wired to 5 volts. Uh, let's change the letter of this key space. Instead of space, let's call this letter A. Top switch is letter A. Middle switch. I'm going to go opposite of, I'm going to call that letter B instead of S. Bottom switch, let's call this letter C. So it's A, B, and C. Of course, we got wires coming off these switches. 
So let's just draw red wire in here. Oh, I know what we can do. Let's place an indicator. We need three indicators. We need three probes. Probe. I'm going to use orange for this one. Let's place three of these. One. OK. Two. OK. Three. Close. The bottom one gets connected to switch C. Middle one connected switch B. Top one connected switch A. And to help our binary counting, let's label this four. Let's label this two. Let's label this one. All right. Now, we need a couple 74 LS32 end gates. So that's called TTL, say for LS32N. Okay. Let's use the A gate first, one right there. Let's use the B gate on the same chip. We're going to approximately put it down here. Cancel. And we also need two 72 LS08, which are two input ANDs. Use the A gate up here. Use the B gate right about here. Cancel. I need to move this guy over a little. It's all good. And we need one inverter. TTL, say for LS04, hex inverter. I use the N. Okay. A gate, approximately here. Cancel, close. So all our gates are lined up. So let's connect the switches to the gates. So this input one here gets connected to the high signal of switch A. The second one gets connected to the output of the first AND gate. This AND gate gets connected to the B switch, and this AND gate gets connected to the C switch, which I think is this one. All right, we're making progress. So now, this is where it gets tricky. This Input of this bottom OR gate also gets connected up here. The dots is where it's connected. Then this AND gets connected here. And the bottom, the second input of this AND also gets connected. To this guy. All right, over here, let's get input into the inverter. The inverter gets connected to the C gate here. So hopefully right now we're all good. So now we have to place seven LEDs, hopefully in order, on our piece of paper. I like to think those are under indicators. So they could be under LED. For all groups. LED. Let's make this green. So basically, how to get to LED is I go here, place source, I go to all groups. And then over here, you could type in LED. You can have your color. Let's do green. So let's place these in order 
the wrong way first. LED 1, okay. LED 2, okay. LED 3, right here. Okay, LED 4 is in the middle. LED 5 is bottom right. LED 6 is in the middle. LED 7 is here. Hit OK. Escape. Escape. I would highlight all these LEDs and rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. It looked like that. Hopefully we can connect the wires. Oh, we're going to need... Uh, Seven resistors and seven digital grounds, apparently. So let's might as well get those out of the way. Resistor. One eighty. Here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. Let me move these over a little. Oops. Move these over. Move these over. Okay. We probably need seven digital grounds. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Hit. Okay. Now. Let's wire this up. LED one is from the first OR gates. Hit escape. Oh, right there. And that goes to the resistor, which then goes to the ground. All right, hopefully you're wired up. LED two comes from that AND gate, the output of this AND gate. Go like that. This goes to the resistor. This goes to the ground. All right. So let's just do that for now. Or I guess we could go LED6 also gets hooked up up and around to this LED2, which then gets connected to this resistor. It's connected to that ground. LED3 from this OR gate. Boom, to the resistor, to the ground. LED4 goes down and around. Oops. Starts here, 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 to that inverter, to the resistor to the ground, which is good. Seven also gets connected to the wire before LED three, to the resistor, to the ground. Six were wired, five comes from one. So let's just go backwards. Cut through here. This is correct. Okay, we got less than a minute on this video. Hopefully your A, B, C switches control this. And hopefully if you hit save, it's be a good time to save if you run it. Oh, nice. A, oh, here, here we go. Here's how you count in binary. Zero, zero, zero. I guess two of them are lighted up. It's okay. When the input is one in binary, it shows one on the dice roller. When the input is two on the binary, it shows two. When the input is three, three on the diagonal, on the dice. Four, one, two, three, four in the corner. Five, six. These three should be lighted up. So hopefully you can see how these three switches control the seven LEDs like a dice.